Hi, OLA. I am Olive e. Blake, the author of The Atlas Six, which is releasing March 1st from Tor Books. I am so excited to have the opportunity to talk to you because I love libraries. Basically, my whole, um, is it too much to say my whole personality, my origin story is built on how important libraries were to me. The first book I ever wrote was like as a child for my local library and I was always competing for who could read the most books during the summer. I am not really an outdoorsy person. I'm an indoor cat. So point is I love being able to talk to you and to just express my absolute enthusiasm for everything that you do. My book is also about a library, potentially a little bit more sinister than the ones you work at. Basically, my book is about the Alexandrian Society, which are the caretakers of lost knowledge from the Library of Alexandria on throughout history. And the book is specifically about the six extraordinary magicians who are competing for the opportunity to be initiated and to have, you know, wealth, power, and knowledge beyond their wildest dreams. Unfortunately, there is a catch, and that is that not all of them are going to make it. Most of them though, most of them. Hopefully you'll indulge me. This is from Tristan's chapter in part two, Truth. Atlas saddled Tristan with a look of immense and troubling expectation. You are more than rare, Atlas said. You cannot begin to imagine your capabilities, Tristan, because no one has ever known what to do with you. And thus you have never encountered a reason to know. Have you ever studied space, time, thought? To Tristan's momentary furrow of bemusement, Atlas said, precisely, you were educated alongside a group of illusionists intending only to profit from marketable sleight of hand. Tristan bristled. Is that what you think I am? Obviously not, Tristan, or I would not be standing here trying to convince you otherwise. Tristan considered that a moment. You make it sound like the game is rigged in my favor, he observed, still guarded, and Atlas shook his head. Not at all. I know how useful you are. It's your turn to convince the others. The promise of your talents is nothing compared to whatever you ultimately prove to be. At that point, Atlas gave Tristan a curt, inattentive smile, expressing wordlessly that he wished to conclude the conversation. I can promise you nothing, Atlas said. I will, in fact, promise you nothing. And whatever you take from this, do not be misled. Nothing I have told you is a guarantee of anything at all. Unlike the others of your initiate class, your power remains largely untested. Your potential is almost entirely unreached, and however unmatched I believe it to be, it will have to be you who brings it to fruition. I am afraid, Mr. Kane, that you will simply have to take the gamble if you wish to reap the reward. Thank you so much for listening and for watching, and again, for giving me the opportunity to speak to you, and I hope you enjoy the book.